Hi, in this video I would like to talk about fake smiling and the reason I want to talk about this is because this has played a large part in my life and basically for me I think it started by mirroring my own mum. Um, at times, me and my mother have had awful arguments, awful, um, you know, things that have happened. But as soon as mum has gone to another room with other people, for example, if we are going to have a party, her whole whole face changes, it completely changes and she's smiling and she's talking and and because I've watched her do this, I do this as well and if I've had an argument, like if I've had an argument with my other half, or if I've had an argument with my sister and automatically people are coming to the house or or someone is in my house and I don't want her or him to know that I'm pissed off. So automatically I'm going to, you know, I put a smile on my face, I go and talk to them. And it is fake to begin with. Uh, but I seem to work through it and work past it. Um, I hate people who are fake like say for example if you have gone up to someone at a party and they give that <laughs> like, look you know as if they're not really interested in you um so you know when it's done like that who you it's like yeah okay I'm not gonna spend my time talking to someone who's not even interested in me um so I think there is a fine line here and to tread caref carefully um people who are f fake you can usually get a Feel when you walk into a room because you can pretty quickly size different people up and people who have a genuine smile and after those are the sorts of people I I tend to gravitate towards you know people who radiate happiness and warmth and all these different things i love to be in other people's company when they are smiling and if you are skilled at, at um at knowing that a s smile covers up different people's um, faces you can normally gauge if they want to talk to you or not so you know it's you know it's just the sort of thing that all of us have I think but not everybody not everybody because at times I have had I arguments with my other half 
and I've had to go to I'm arms or I've had to go to a sh shop like supermarket my other half can have a face on him like a wet weekend and it really annoys me it really annoys me especially if we've just had an argument in the car and because I think people are you know people people who you know hash judgment I think that's the bottom line here and half the time because I don't want other people to know I've had an argument or I've had a row with my other half I am more easily able to cover it up him on the other hand can't and I have had especially members of my family asking me what is the matter with him what wasn't he in arrested when everybody was talking he looked like he was in a right mood and I'm not gonna say oh we've had this awful awful argument at home and he said this and I said that you know because I am more skilled at covering up from how I really f feel and um, you know I mean yes some people will argue it is fake or I will also argue it is a s skill to have because if I've just had enough argument with my dad my past I mean they go like at work if if your boss has had you in your office at work in a working place the last thing you want to do is cry or walk around like a wet weekend you have to smile because i i work in a supermarket and I have to greet customers every single day. It doesn't matter if I've got a headache. It doesn't matter if I'm tired or if I'm, you know, not up to it. I have to perform. I have to put on a smile. I have to interact with customers all the time. And if you think about it, if there's a cashier who always looks unhappy who always looks you know it it comes off as bad customer service and these days if you don't have good customer service at work you can get into a lot of trouble especially when it comes to the mystery customers i so I argue having a fake smile isn't just fake, it's a skill.